Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back uh, to my session one, part four. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, capacity building. Uh, as I discussed uh, in earlier tutorials, uh, how uh, you know we worked on uh, one framework in one of the NGO, and we got excellent results. Uh, you know, uh, with the remarkable reduction of SAM, MAM. Uh, you know, um, underweight, even stenting, and uh, it became our goal to kind of replicate this model. You know, uh, if not the whole model, but at least the learning that we had from that NGO. Uh, and once I kind of uh, uh, presented my data in World Breastfeeding Conference, uh, you know, um, IIT Bombay, uh, I think, got to know about uh, this data, and you know, they invited me for. Uh, many of their workshops, you know, because one of the department was working on uh, nutrition, a sitara, it's a sitara, and that, that's that's what uh, I joined. Uh, but uh, even uh, in 2017 or so, uh, one of the professor, Professor Kanan, uh, he was running this uh, program on spoken tutorial, you know, and uh, he had created uh, multiple uh, tutorials on software, you know, uh, teaching children software through uh, through online uh, tutorials, and uh, he decided to get into health and nutrition, uh, you know, tutorials, and that's where uh, we met. And uh, I, you know, he asked me if I could be a content reviewer or, or the team lead, and it was a golden opportunity to pass on the knowledge that I had acquired, you know, for so many years working in slums, and I immediately grabbed that opportunity and. Uh, uh, here I am actually, you know, and I joined another department called Sitara. Uh, that Sitara department, it also called, uh, we call it CHINU, Child Nutrition Center of Excellence. So here we have, uh, you know, a few professors who are working on uh, uh, in child nutrition. So uh, talking about data analytics from government, you know, we get uh, uh, we do a data analytics, HMIS data analytics, uh, you know, a lot of other data analysis. Uh, we also, uh, I take a course on maternal infant and young child nutrition. It's a critical issue in contemporary India. Uh, another professor, Professor Satish Agniotri, kind of, he, he's a data geek, so he talk, <laughs> he takes uh, classes on uh, analytics for students, but he's also very, very passionate about uh, nutrition for young children. So he's, he's just an uh, amazing professor. Uh, and we have uh, Professor Amit Arora, and he works on basically, uh, you know, uh, food technology and food processing. Uh, so we have a wonderful team, and uh, I'm part of it now. And uh, I've continued working at uh, Spoken Tutorial uh, because, you know, um, th that project is extremely close to my heart because we are creating all this uh, health spoken tutorial in, in my field and I, I'm going to talk about it uh, right now but uh, basically uh, you know once we decided to uh, kind of take this learning to different uh, you know uh, kind of districts or blocks or even state now uh, we wanted to have a convergence approach you know I mean that was we know that you know we need a department of health we need department of uh, WCD so this is what basically you know we try to have the convergence wherever we go but uh, many times it happened that you know uh, department of health may not be talking to WCD department, you know, and we ha we have difficulty, but uh, you know we try our best. So here there was just one training uh, which was done in Melgat. Uh, this is a sub district magistrate right there, sitting on on the uh, main chair over there, and uh, you know she she's an IS officer, Dr. Mitali Sethi, one of the very uh, charming, very hardworking young IS officer. And uh, she came to Sitara Bombay and said that, you know, I have so much of malnutrition in my male guard. Can you please help us what to do? So not only she got some training in uh, our department, you know, but uh, she also, uh, you know, we did online training uh, in uh, uh, COVID time. Uh, we could not travel. So basically all uh, the whole department, uh, you know, WCD as well as uh, the Minister of Health and Family Welfare, uh, we did uh, training online. But then she, you know, she also attended the training. And in fact, uh, eventually she started kind of training on her own, you know, using a health spoken tutorial. So it, it empowered her so much that she, she started taking training on her own. Uh, so our goal is basically, you know, capacity building. So what we do, we try to, you know, um, 
uh, get all these uh, healthcare workers, Anganwadi workers, you know, to uh, come and basically uh, learn from us. This is in Thalassery. And uh, what we do is we give them breast model. Okay. We give them a baby doll. We give them some material. Okay. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, uh, growth charts because it's very important that they learn how to plot growth charts. And uh, they see tutorials. We are going to talk about, I think I've already discussed a little bit of tutorial earlier, but uh, I'll be discussing a little bit more about it. And uh, this is how, you know, we, uh, we train them actually. So we do a lot of workshop. And uh, when we have access to live born babies, we also invite mothers with young babies so they can get exposure to how to, uh, you know, help mothers, uh, you know, uh, with breastfeeding in, in, a, in a workshop uh, environment. And this training is actually three to four days, you know, and uh, we have so much fun because, you know, uh, there's so much of interaction. This was in Pitoragar uh, in one of the training. Uh, this is all Langanwadi workers. And, uh, you know, this Pitoragar is in Uttarakhand, very close to China border, actually. You know, it took us three days to reach there. And uh, again, you know, there's a lot of interaction, a lot of uh, talking. We insist a lot on cross cradle hold and 45 points of counseling. Uh, this is again in Chandrapur, Chandrapur district, Maharashtra. And uh, again, my goal is uh, skill. So we kind of make them very, very uh, efficient on skills, you know. Uh, everybody knows that breastfeeding is important, you know, everybody knows it, but uh, how to do it, uh, unfortunately, that skill was lacking. So we insisted on that. This is again from Mailghat. So every uh, every training gets this 45 point counseling brochure. Okay, it uh, it has become like our uh, mantra, you know, like, just like Hanuman Chalisa, this has become like cross grid, uh, cross grid lol, pistalisa. Uh, how do we do it? We do it with the help of health spoken tutorial because only uh, with, you know, tutorial like that, you know, would help us to train uh, lakhs and lakhs of uh, healthcare workers. And that's what our goal is. Uh, so, uh, and I'm the content provider of this health spoken tutorial. Uh, I have some other uh, senior doctors also who basically kind of uh, give us, uh, you know, their uh, recommendation or suggestion time to time. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Ratna Thar. She is the uh, nutritionist, and she uh, she gives her feedback on uh, all the content review of uh, recipes. So we have a lot of recipes videos also, and uh, so far we have created seventy three uh, tutorials. Uh, they are on adult, adolescent, maternal, infant, young child feeding uh, nutrition. Uh, they are presently in fifty Indian languages. Uh, they also created in Korku and Santhali. These are two, uh, you know, uh, tribal languages. Uh, this are some of the topics. Uh, many more has come come out after this, uh, you know, this um, slide. But uh, we have topics on each and every every point you can think of. You know, so breastfeeding, all the different points, uh, breast crawl, colostrum. You know, breast crawl during uh, yeah, cesarean section. Then we have it on any complications of breastfeeding. Like uh, generally, we don't see it when we have proper breastfeeding at birth. Uh, but in case if uh, anybody has cervical sore or uh, breast conditions, breast difficult, uh, breastfeeding difficulties, uh, then we also talk about type one, type two nutrient, which I discussed in my last session. Uh, about type 1 and type 2. Type 2 are important for growth, you know, for muscle development as well as uh, lean, uh, uh, as well as, uh, uh, you know, uh, bone growth. Um, then we have uh, recipes, uh, recipes videos for 6 months old, 7 months old, 8 to 11 months old, in all different age group. Uh, junk food is another very important tutorial because everywhere people, children need so much of junk food and you know it, it's important to show them this video to make them understand what happens to the body when they have this you know empty calories uh, we also created tutorials on you know personal hygiene safe preparation uh, all the different nutrients why they're important nutrients like say choline vitamin b12 magnesium potassium you know all uh, calcium vitamin c uh, protein you know, uh, and then we have created recipe videos for vegetarians and non-vegetarians for each nutrient. Okay, 
uh, we also have recipes for pregnant mothers lactating mothers pre-pregnancy nutrition so of course you know i'll i'll be basically uh, asking you to watch some of these tutorials uh, in in each of my sessions uh, but uh, you know uh, definitely if you can subscribe to it and keep the notification on uh, we have also created uh, tutorials on growth charts because many times mothers they don't uh, uh, know like you know uh, what should be the target weight of that child what uh, even the healthcare workers they don't know uh, you know how to plot graph uh, graphs or whether baby is gaining weight or not appropriately so we have those really good uh, tutorials on WHO growth chart which I will be taking in detail in uh, uh, probably around uh, on um, 12th uh, session actually these so are some of the languages that uh, we have created tutorials in it's getting dubbed uh, as we speak um, what are spoken tutorials they're like about 10 minutes uh, animated tutorials and uh, you know uh, it is uh, we created through screen capture and we with the running commentary a script approved by a beginner is understandable so I wanted to kind of uh, you know obviously uh, it, it's it's a rule that uh, I abide uh, you know professor Kanan is very very strict on all this spoken tutorial uh, rules so uh, you know he always mentioned that the script should be so simple that even the young like a youngest child I would say even the young adolescent not youngest child but the adolescent should be able to understand what we are saying you know so what we did is basically we brought science and uh, you know skills uh, to the last mile through this tutorials okay uh, and our goal is that you know if somebody is stuck uh, if they want to know about certain things and if they if you suppose mother is say uh, in somewhere and she's not being able to breastfeed uh, she should be able to and she does not have any access to say any help then she can just uh, switch on this tutorial and uh, you know understand what are those 45 points and then she can uh, learn about it you know and most of the time they are very very successful because we run this uh, you know one eternal, one eternal portion helpline and that's been really kind of you know we get a lot of calls and uh, many times we just send them just to tutorials and you know mother said that oh problem is solved within 24 hours so um, so that's what uh, we also kind of uh, you know encourage mothers and healthcare workers to call us if there is an issue okay uh, all these tutorials are basically uh, you know translated in 22 languages Indian languages uh, ours health spoken tutorials are translated in 15 languages and uh, right now many tribal area uh, IS officers are coming to us and they want us to translate into those tribal languages so we have started that translation as well uh, and it's in the open source uh, we have it on our website as well as we have it on our YouTube so you can just go and watch uh, you know whichever tutorial you want uh, totally free of cost for everyone this is just example of uh, you know it's taken from YouTube and we're showing uh, how it is shown what are these tutorials who are these uh, tutorials uh, I mean who are, who are the beneficiaries of this tutorial everybody believe me uh, you know more the, uh, urban mothers rural mothers rural parents urban parents healthcare workers you know including medical officers nurses uh, pediatricians obstetricians especially and pediatrician we don't have any this knowledge we didn't have it uh, Anganwadi workers ashas AMs, you know just anybody because it's a life skill right it's a nutrition is a life skill breastfeeding complementary feeding imagine if you didn't know what like how to eat right or how to feed the child I mean child is at tremendous risk of getting into malnutrition because they don't have fat store you know so it's important that uh, you know we uh, uh, we learned this and I, I would also recommend um, you know uh, adolescents and even uh, college students college students you know undergrad postgrad uh, PhD students they, everybody should watch it you know uh, good thing about this tutorials is that uh, there is no dilution of knowledge because a lot of time what happens in TOT when you train somebody and we ask that person to go and train somebody else you know, a lot of time there is some amount of dilution you know um, so here what happens is uh, you know when uh, training on the trainers trainers have this tutorial in front, front of them they can train using these tutorials and then can have discussion so there is no dilution of knowledge you know same amount same kind of knowledge passes pass on to next person and uh, our goal is to really kind of train each and every healthcare workers using our tutorials uh, it is designed for self-learning also 
so as i mentioned that uh, you know uh, anybody can watch it and they can learn on their own okay uh, it's easy to share a link with anybody uh, so suppose if you have uh, anybody in your family who is kind of struggling with breastfeeding or complementary feeding or you know not sure whether baby can eat this or that you know you can just pass on the link and boom mother will know everything uh, even if somebody say does not have a smartphone okay uh, and say the healthcare worker or the team wants to go through training you know iit bombay used to basically provide asha i mean uh, akash tablet you know and uh, we used to do training using akash tablet uh but so far we haven't had that problem because you know uh actually we do training on the screen so so far we don't have that problem and uh, tutorials also can be played in hospitals and government healthcare center wherever they want you know and uh, we can also kind of uh, do large it kind of training uh you know because we have we can train like uh 1000 people at a time or even 10000 people at a time you know we have that kind of facility at iit bombay so uh, you know so we we can do that we can do uh, scaling of this training to to whole of india actually and uh, this is our uh, youtube channel health spoken tutorial iit bombay um and you know if if you want you can just uh, kind of subscribe uh, over here and uh, this was taken when there were only eight, uh, 100 subscribers you know we didn't have this was almost uh, five years ago and now we have almost uh, almost 16000 uh, subscribe subscribers and I, i would want many more of course uh, and we have different channels like english tamil you know hindi so we have all the different language channels we will be all, also making a playlist playlist for example say for lactating mothers uh, play playlist would be different for pregnant mothers the playlist would be different so we will also create those playlist you know stanpan karane ki cross breed sthiti par spoken tutorial mein aapka swagat hai is tutorial mein hum sikhenge this is a maa aur shishu ke liye stanpan ki sahi sthiti chunna stanpan se pehle maa ki taiyari और क्रॉस क्रेडल स्थिति करने की संपूर्ण क्रिया विधि तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं दुनिया भर में माए अपने शिशुओं को विभिन्न प्रकार की स्थितियों में स्तनपान कराती है एक माँ और उसके शिशु के लिए स्तनपान कराने की सबसे अच्छी स्थिति वो होती है जिसमें माँ और शिशु दोनों के लिए स्तनपान शुरू से अंत तक आरामदायक हो शिशु माँ के स्तन से गहरा जुड़ाव कर पाए okay. so that was Hindi. स्तनपान uh, so, कराने uh, के लिए मुंह uh, के पकड़ पर स्पोकन ट्यूटोरियल में आपका स्वागत है इस ट्यूटोरियल में हम शिशु के स्तन से गहरे जुड़ाव के लिए मुंह के पकड़ के बारे में सीखेंगे और जानेंगे कि स्तनपान कितनी बार कराया जाए शुरू करने से पहले ध्यान दें कि एक असरदार स्तनपान के लिए मुंह की पकड़ बहुत जरूरी है शिशु के मुंह का स्तन से गलत जुड़ाव होने की वजह से सिर्फ निप्पल से स्तनपान होगा इससे शिशु को बहुत कम दूध मिलेगा पूरक आहार खिलाने के सामान्य दिशा निर्देश पर बने स्पोकन ट्यूटोरियल में आपका स्वागत है इस ट्यूटोरियल में हम सीखेंगे छह महीने के शिशु को पूरक आहार खिलाने की जरूरत के बारे में और छह महीने से 24 महीने के शिशुओं को पूरक आहार खिलाने की दिशा निर्देश ओके सो वी हैव आल्सो क्रिएटेड क्वेश्चन एस फॉर ईच एंड एवरी ट्यूटोरियल सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हेनेवर वी गो फॉर ट्रेनिंग डिपेंडिंग ऑन व्हाट थीमेटिक दैट दे वांट टू गेट ट्रेन इन वी बेसिकली डू प्री टेस्ट एंड पोस्ट टेस्ट नाउ लॉर्ड दिस क्वेश्चन इज आल्सो देयर ऑन ऑन डिजिटल मीडिया डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म right so if you don't want to kind of uh, put it up on the paper or you don't want to waste papers you can also take those exams just online okay so uh, this is this is the facility we have so here in one of the training uh, what we are doing is we are giving um, you know exams so they are taking exams on um, on phone and uh, you know this is pre test exam so they all are busy taking exam this was in banaskata district uh, and we had put it up for all our questions on kobo tool 
Uh, so this is to understand the knowledge retention that how much knowledge first of all pre-test so they we want to know how much knowledge they had previously uh, but you know the thing is the skills are very much new for them so obviously they don't do very well on pre-test but they do amazingly well on post-test this is in goa actually so this the tutorials are being run in uh, college of home sciences uh, here, one of the Anganwadi worker is showing some mothers. Uh, there was some breastfeeding week, so they're talking about, you know, breastfeeding. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it just runs on the phone. So, even if you're visiting somebody's house and if she has an issue, just show them this tutorial and they will know what to do. So, again, this is one of the training in uh, Talasari in Palghar. Uh, you know, they are just so captivated by it because it's so interesting for them actually, you know, not only learning about new skill, but it's like, wow, okay, I'm learning everything from uh, from online tutorials, you know, that to something like this, which they had never heard of, you know, uh, learning about breastfeeding from tutorials, actually. Uh, this is in Bara, Rajasthan, where, you know, uh, Action Against Hunger has a beautiful project running over there, Fight Hunger Foundation is called. And, uh, you know, what we do is we we show them this tutorial and then we have 10 minutes discussion on it, you know, because to understand what uh, what they think about the tutorial, what did they learn, uh, what are the, uh, you know, problems that they have, any questions, queries, you know, so all that we discuss. So this is another uh, story I would like to share with you all because we're talking about capacity building of our uh, MIYCF uh, for for different states. So we have Dr. Fancy uh, and uh, he's just, um, I mean, of course, I have known him since uh, 2019 now. And, uh, you know, he he was a DHO at uh, Sabarkata district. So he came to uh, Sabarkata district. Uh, I mean, he came to our Sitara IIT Bombay to meet us with his team. This is Professor Satish Akhniotri, and this is his team. And uh, you know, uh, you know, Dr. Manish Pansi's team. And they all came to Sitara Bombay to see that. Oh, what is IIT Bombay doing? Uh, what is what is it doing with child nutrition? You know, it's an engineering institute. I mean, what are they doing for, we call we call it Chino. I mean, what is this Chino about, Child Nutrition Center? You know, and we have a center of excellence, actually. You know, nobody knows that, but we have, uh, it's a center of excellence uh, on child nutrition. And uh, he stayed there for two days, you know, and then he learned about our work. He, he was completely impressed. So he decided that he wanted to, take this uh, training to Sabarkata district. So immediately, you know, he came in March and he rolled out in literally in April, he rolled out the whole program. He took only four tutorials because, uh, you know, that time he wanted to just focus on breastfeeding latching, you know, and he called it as a latching project. So he disseminated about four tutorials on latching, okay? And uh, this is how he did it. So what he did, he basically took uh, exams uh, of all the people pre-test exam then he asked him to watch tutorial st tutorial okay for tutorials so basically started with medical officers okay and then he asked him to take the exams again like a post test then he basically what he did he said that okay now you attend the training workshop where we had breast model and doll and all that you know and then basically he said okay now you practiced on the doll and the uh, baby and on the breast model now you go and practice on mothers Okay, because unless you practice in the field, you wouldn't know uh, whether you, you are getting impact or not. Okay, and then what he did, he said, okay, now you follow a few babies. So he gave about 10 babies and he said, now you see what is impact. And if there was any poor weight gain, he would say, go back again, watch that tutorial, take that exam, practice again. So it was like a whole circle, you know, until each and every medical officer understood the actual uh, skills and started showing impact, you know, uh, I mean, by the time we were getting just amazing results and Sabarkata district had in NFHS 4, Sabarkata district had 51% stunting, 51%. Okay. Uh, and the result NFHS 5 data just came out and the stunting, it, I'm not saying it was just because of latching project, but basically, you know, the results that I saw in those past, on those, in the six months, it was just mind blowing because what was happening, we had not touched mother's nutrition. So a lot of these babies were born small. Okay. They were like 2.3, 2.4 kgs, you know, but 
just in a matter of couple of months they would uh, like you know double their weight uh, in just one and a half month two months you know fast fast one and a half kg one and a half kg one and a half kg you know every month uh and by the time they were like three months they were like so tall and big and we was really really excited so this is one of the training uh in sabarkata where i'm trained i'm training all the medical officers and nurses and you know uh all those people uh we did three day training and then we also had uh trained uh you know uh, some of these uh, this was uh, after we finished the, that project with medical officers you know so uh, this was in september again i went to train uh, to some of this ashas or one of the block himatnagar block we wanted to train all the ashas direct training you know face to face training with ashas and this uh, same same program ashas are uh, basically learning all the skills you know extremely happy you know uh, and then of course uh, you know uh, medical officers who were trained earlier you know in, in month of uh, april uh, they went back and train all their uh, anms ashas going back into the phcs and there were you know a lot of these medical officers are male male doctors but they were just so comfortable and even they were so excited acha kaise karte hai aise karte hai aise you know so because it's a different technique it's completely different hand completely different way you hold the breast you know and then obviously they were making sure that you know uh, so they were running the tutorials in the back and at the end of the tutorial they would basically show them uh, direct techniques you know uh here again some of this uh you know see how they are learning using this tutorial and then basically practicing on the baby dolls you know with mothers directly uh a lot of time they don't have you know space so they just sit outside in the uh, in the open space you know there's a rural area some of them are really remote tribal areas you know uh but uh, it's just that you know we we took this uh, learning uh, to the last mile and dr fancy is just uh, he 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 is one of the very dynamic uh, officer you know uh, i truly really have a lot of respect for him uh, again same you know uh, each and every phc had this tutorials running and we kind of you know uh, gave each and every uh, important points of breastfeeding you know we what we did is we made them latching expert i would not call them lactation expert i call them latching expert because if you have a good latch you will not have any complication you will not have breast abscess you don't they don't need to be doctors to you know, learn latch you know latching is every mother needs to know every father needs to know how to latch the baby you know so this this is what we did we just made them latching expert uh here what is happening is after you know taking those exams medical officer is teaching this uh, uh mothers you know how to how to hold the baby uh, yeah this is of course on the baby doll uh, and here uh, you know uh, this is again in himatnagar uh, i went to district hospital because i realized that most of the babies are born in district hospital you know sub district hospital so here there were this bunch of nursing students so i was teaching them uh, how to help mother you know with uh, with the uh, latching this are again the trainings you know again uh, people are discussing 45 points uh, they discuss with each other okay because i want to make sure that once they see the tutorial they they can able to teach others also so we do a lot of this training you know so how to teach other mothers or teach teach other healthcare workers then what we did you know uh, both after uh, uh, you know banaskata and also sabarkata we created latching groups okay so in that latching group what, what would happen of course uh, this is from melgaat because in melgaat also i had a latching group uh, it's in marathi over here uh, and they would basically send me uh, you know data of children you know of course very rudimentary it was uh, in melgaat they would just write it on the piece of paper and send me data weekly data or bi weekly data of all the children whether they're growing well or not you know uh, but and then we you know it would be it would come on like somebody would put it on excel spreadsheet and i would basically follow up those babies to see how they're growing if they were not growing well i'll put in the red if they are very critical and i would put in dark red so we were doing everything manually actually it was a very manual tedious job you know to put all this 
but um, through those uh, whatsapp you know uh, doctors would kind of send uh, some of the videos to kind of make sure that latching was good positioning was good so there was a lot of uh, interaction through uh, you know whatsapp of course we took consent of mothers but uh, it was more of a for a learning purpose you know and then we used a lot of ic material data monitoring tool also so here you know uh, with the uh, state incident of uh, health and family welfare gujarat uh, we just had a training of uh, 200 people uh, uh, state level training so 33 uh, people from 33 district came and then we kind of uh, created this ic material and you know we we kind of gave it to them it was four day training residential training and uh, uh, hours or 8 in the morning till 12 midnight you know and then of course these are some of the nutrition charts that we gave out uh, i'll be talking about this all these different nutrients magnesium sulfur all that uh, so you'll be learning about it these are basically brochures that we had created uh, 45 points so they they took this brochures also um, with them uh, then we have this uh, of course i discussed about uh, you know mothers coming to phcs you know so this is uh, one of the picture and here uh, you know once a mother get uh, delivered this medical officer is teaching her uh, how to breastfeed and here is the tutorial running in the background so one of the uh, neighbor one of the uh, family member is actually watching the uh, tutorial you know because it's important to teach her also because when she goes back mother goes back you know she, she won't have medical officer or nm or asha teaching her 24/7 you know so we make sure that uh, uh, family members are taught to you know if husband is around husband should learn you know of, like how to hold the baby how to give it to the mother you know how to change the diaper all that here is uh, one of the beautiful picture the rbsk doctor is teaching the mother you know they go for uh, the check up you know uh, four days so uh, so they you know because he had attended the training he knew exactly how to hold the baby so he sat down on the floor you know and he was teaching mother 45 points and i was just so proud of uh, you know this kind of so i feel that even india each, if each and every uh, healthcare person okay be it rbsk ayush mbbs uh staff nurse triple a's you know your all the facilitators supervisors cdpos they all should know it you know once they once they know it they'll know exactly what to do you know and they'll they'll figure out where the problem is so i i insist that they all should in fact i as officer should know too really um what was the results of training in bk of course i already kind of presented the data but before we uh, did the research you know uh, we wanted to see that after this training uh, what what are the results that you know when we told them to follow up 10 babies so each each trainee was following 10 babies so here we uh, just in a matter of uh, you know a couple of months we had four, data of 407 uh, children you know and if you look at it we had just amazing results look at this more than 30 to 45 grams almost 50% children had more than 30 gram weight gain per day and uh, some more had even more than 40 grams you know so this is this is important um, that uh, you know uh, we must make sure that children gain good amount of weight uh, here you know we wanted to see uh, that uh, at week 1 and week 4 what was the difference you know so this is basically definitely children uh, kind of sh- uh, curve shift to the right you know that means uh, children were born small but uh, you know in the matter of just four, four weeks uh, they were coming closer to the mean means they were becoming bigger you know uh, mean means your generally your average uh, children is that on the mean okay this was we wanted to see what was the data uh, so we had about 49 babies who were low birth weight babies and we wanted to see what was the data at week 1 week 2 week 3 and here uh, you know in week 1 there was almost 40 g weight gain uh, in one week uh, 40 g weight gain so this is per day uh, weight gain data uh, in week 2 it was 30 g weight gain per uh, weight gain per per day here week 3 34 g weight gain so what i'm saying is that you know if the latching is good then the average weight gain per day is pretty high it's pretty good actually you know uh, here is one very nice um, you know field uh, health supervisor uh, i would say actually uh, anm supervisor uh, 
she had her her uh, daughter in law had delivered a baby 3.1 kg and uh, so she had she had learned this technique from dh doctor fancy uh, when he was dh over there in baras kata and uh, when he when she learned that technique from him you know uh, he she said let me try it on my daughter in law there's no harm so she tried that technique and this baby was just gaining weight like leaps and bounds like in, by 13 day baby was only 4.3 can you imagine birth weight was 3.15 and 13 day baby was 4.3 and in one month baby was 5.6 i mean 5 6 k 5.6 kg at around 2 2 months of age 2 2 and a half months of age imagine this baby gain 2.5 kg in one month i mean unbelievable so then you know when uh, she came to meet me in the training uh, and she attended the training whole training again because you know i was going to talk more about maternal infant young child nutrition the whole thing uh, so she came again for the training and you know i just want to kind of play her jan samay anu vajan hatu 3 kilo n 150 gram ena pase 13 divse vajan karyu te anu 4 kilo n 300 gram jetlo hatu 4 kilo n 300 gram hatu pase phari एक महीना पशी वजन कर तारी पांच किलो ने सस्सो ग्राम वजन है एम लैचिंग तालीम घो फरक पड़ो कि लैचिंग तालीम एटली सरस रीते समझी पशी बाड़क साथ शेर करी जाए यनी माता शेर करी जाए माताए पूरेपूरो सपोर्ट आप माता एनेम से हूँ पोते एफ एच एस छू पर तालीम जो मैं अनुभव कर मार बाक साथ हूँ बीजा सा सौ टका शेर करीश अने रीते हूँ मारु आ कामें करीश ए रीते कि हूँ बीजी माताओं ने आ रीते समझाईश कि आ रीते तब वजन तब बाकू वजन वार हो तो तब हूँ कहूँ ए रीते ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग बाड़क ने आपो ए रीते हूँ मीटिंगों भरी गर्भाओ माताओं से मीटिंग भरीश बीजी डीलिवरी माताओं से मीटिंग भरीश एच बी एन सी मुलाकात लई से वक्त हूँ लैचिंग कहीश एक पिस्तालीस पिस्तालीस मुद्दा हूँ ध्यान रखीश और हूँ ए एन सी माता के डीलिवरी वाली माता शेर करीश ने मार ये बाड़कों वजन वारा में पूरेपूरो सपोर्ट करीश ते कहो कि तब आज ट्रेनिंग जो ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग तब के वर्षो थी एफ छो चौतरीस वर्ष से मैंने एफ तक लगे कि चौतरीस वर्ष में तमने आ ट्रेनिंग तमने मिली है तब आवा रिजल्ट मैं एट मैडम प्रेक्टिकल कराया था प्रेक्टिकल पहला तालीमो आती थी करू बधुँ पर जो जुए न रिजल्ट नतु मत हमें बाक साथ जो आ रिजल्ट मूस तो बीजा बाड़कों से सौ टका रिजल्ट मैसे तालीम ना फरक है तालीम अमे so so it's amazing she's saying that you know she she's going to take this 45 points to each and every child uh, that she knows you know so that's that's amazing so it's, it's the same baby you know her uh, grandchild so this is a baby at 4 months of age maybe is 8 kg okay so by 4 months if baby is 8 kg you can imagine how beautifully that baby must have grown okay from 3 kg to 8 kg in just 4 months this is uh, sabar kata again you know the uh, first the district that i was talking about where dr fancy was a dh and then he moved to banaskata so we took that program to banaskata uh and here you know as you can see the stunting rate is 51% so we just started the latching project nothing else and you can see all these babies are born low birth weight so 2.6 kg 2.2 kg look at the low birth weight babies but because of the breastfeeding was so good you know the latching was so good that they were look at the weight gain 4.89 uh, you know in just matter of 2 months this baby uh, 2.2 to uh, 6.6 so basically literally in 3 months you know he tripled the weight normally we are we are told that okay tripling of weight is one year so any time when i ask in the field okay hey, when should this baby be, uh, triple the weight they say one year so they they feel that okay one one year old 6.6 is normal no not so not normal you know so low birth babies they gain very fast and cross cradle hold in fact low birth weight babies they gain such beautiful weight is mind blowing okay This is some of the babies Manaskata district. You know, doubling of weight, 60 gram weight gain per day. Imagine this is 24 day old baby. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so this I already discussed about the complimentary feeding. Here are some of the B, uh, BK program that uh, you know, just sharing some of the beautiful photographs of these babies. They grow so beautiful. You know, this is all six months old babies. This is a 24 week old baby boy. You know. uh we tell them that buy a newer bigger you know machines because children are growing so fast uh and uh, you know ashas and anms can't believe it so they just continue carrying a small weighing scale you know they use it till one year of age and here look we have a 24 weeker 
24 week baby boy uh, you know uh, who has already reached 10 kg okay so this is some of the pretty much small small children six kg this is me three month old baby less than three month old this is six months old baby girl 9.1 exclusively breastfed mother's milk okay small baby look at the length so fast so tall they grow okay so if you want to really tackle malnutrition in infant and young children in india you know you have to have this training of correct breastfeeding hold latching and correct complementary food uh, advice it should go on the war footage otherwise you know war footing i should say you know uh, then only you'll see the results otherwise you'll be like just maybe one or two percent here and there uh, difference some of before and after pictures from maharashtra this is actually from uh, yeah so left one is from maharashtra right one is from gujarat uh, tribal areas both of them are tribal areas look at the difference this is from melgaat you know we had done one training and mothers were taught correct techniques and see how beautiful they grow babies there's some before and after babies you know way forward these are some of my advice for uh, you know ice officers uh, people in government what can they do because now we have a lot of field experience and you know if they take it up uh, you will definitely see results they just need to know what to do and implementation is important so what to do is easy it's it's easy to understand what to do but how to do and how to get it done that's uh, another uh, you know that also iit bombay can help actually um and uh, one uh, one important point is escalation process i would also call mentoring process uh, so what happens like in india uh, whenever we kind of when we when we do training and when we do mentoring of the all these healthy workers you know so because i'm there for them on whatsapp any time the baby say don't gain weight they immediately call me or they whatsapp me the baby is not gaining weight what to do you know and i would guide them right but in india i don't know where would they go because we don't have the system if baby does not grow well uh, i there is no system at this point uh, system is they do mamta uh, mamta day and then do height and weight and if they find sam uh, and they would basically admit child in this nrc but uh, what happens while baby is kind of going down baby is not gaining weight there is stagnation there is no growth failure so there is no system like that so we need to have a system so here i have created a protocol for some of the projects where i say that you know uh, and i we do the similar thing in us so what happens is when the baby get discharged in us pediatrician see this child and i'm talking about even public health so pediatrician the pediatrician is not there then you know family physician is there or if uh, family physician is not there then we have a nurse physician so we have all these different cadre who are trained in uh, uh, children you know uh, children healthcare and uh, we keep continue seeing this babies every 24 to 48 hours depending upon the weight gain and we would not allow mother to just get out of our sight till we are confident that mother knows how to feed the baby okay now obviously in us there is a issue of formula feeding so in formula feeding may of course baby will gain weight but uh, we in in breastfed babies we are very very strict so you know unfortunately i don't see that of course we have hbnc visits over here where they do visit 3, 0 3 7 14 21 28 all that but uh, you know i feel that from 0 to 3 it's still too too late you need to do 0 1 to because those are the days when mother is learning latching okay so and if if you can teach that mother and baby diet within say next like within 1 hour 10 hours or maybe first 24 for 8 hours and when the mother is in the pnc boom then you will not have any problem 90% of the babies you know they mothers they and babies they learn to latch and feed very well within next 10 days you know but don't let them go uh, i won't call them don't discharge them but at least do frequent visits do it every 24 48 hours whatever it takes because our goal is to make that latch happen you know efficiently i want that milk transfer to occur you cannot wait for 10 days because there are there are myths you know that oh baby will will gain birth weight by 7 days 10 days no we don't see that you saw 2.5 kg weight gain in one month if i would have waited for two weeks to for baby to gain weight birth weight baby would have been malnourished you know 
So uh, please do not wait. Just continue every 24 to 40 hours. So, you know, if whatever need be, you can carry wing scale with you. You know, ask Asha, Enema, whoever, you know, close to, whoever staying close to the mother's house to go and check the weight. Okay. And if baby's not getting weight, then we, of course, tell uh, Asha's and A&M's to uh, continue teaching those 45 points. And within, in, within say, even the next visit, baby's not gaining weight, then that baby needs to be escalated. Okay, then comes supervisors, then comes medical officers, because if babies are not gaining weight uh, with, with proper um, latching, then there is some other issue, right? There are organic causes of not gaining weight.